the crown must win. Must always win. Looking for a change in scenery and accents? Zip across the ocean to the land of fish and chips, electric tea kettles, and adding use to random words with these 11 British television series. Whether you're looking for laughs, baked delights, or tension you could cut with a knife, they've got you covered. Read on to plan and stream your own journey to the UK, one you can take without ever leaving your couch. Number 11. Black Mirror Things never look quite right in this mind-bending anthology, which tells a series of dystopian stories that explore the potential terror-inducing uses of technology in our everyday lives. The episodes work within a variety of genres, including crime thriller, noir, horror, and black comedy. And since you don't need to watch them in order, you can pick and choose depending on what suits your mood. But no matter what you watch, they'll most likely send a chill down your spine and make it hard to go to sleep that night. Number 10. Top Boy This gritty crime drama, which includes none other than Drake among its executive producers, wrapped its final season last year. So now's the perfect time to watch from start to finish. It follows Dushin, Ashley Walters, and Sully, Kane Robinson, two drug dealers in a fictional East London public housing estate called Summer House. It's a ruthless, violent business, but those involved, both sellers and users, are still people, which is where most of the focus and drama of this series lies. Number 9. Bodyguard After thwarting a terrorist attack, police sergeant and war veteran David Budd, Richard Madden, is promoted to the personal detail of Home Secretary Julia Montague, Keely Hawes. But it's an uneasy match, as Budd's experiences at war make him distrustful of the government, especially the Conservative Party. Not only is Montague a member of that party, but she also supported the war he turned against. Their conflict starts the series with a degree of tension that only ramps up as Montague becomes a target herself in this nail-biting political thriller. Number 8. Peaky Blinders Step back in time to 1919 Birmingham, where Tommy Shelby, Killian Murphy, leads the Peaky Blinders street gang as he tries to expand his empire in the aftermath of World War I. His first major adversary is the Royal Irish Constabulary, sent by Winston Churchill, Andy Nyman in Season 1 and Richard McCabe in Season 2. The series stretches into the run-up to World War II, with Shelby confronting the Irish mob and the British Union of Fascists. It's dark and often violent, but a stunner of a crime drama, if that's what you're looking for. Number 7. Marcella. Marcella Backland, Anna Friel, is a former police investigator who tries to work out an 11-year-old unsolved case involving a suspected serial killer, because that killer appears to be on the hunt again. The Nordic Noir-style series zeroes in on the case, though Marcella's personal life is also intertwined, as her husband Jason, Nicholas Pinnock, leaves her and sends their two kids off to boarding school. After this first mystery is solved, she keeps chasing killers, even as her mental health unravels, making truth and reality harder to discern. Number 6. Jack Whitehall Travels with my father Actor and comedian Jack Whitehall is funny enough on his own, but pair him up with his theater agent father, Michael Whitehall, and throw them into tricky travel-related situations like naked yoga in Los Angeles, a clown festival in Odessa, and a drag competition in Australia. It's a wild and funny travel documentary ride, with a lot of father-son bonding and jokes at each other's expense. Number 5. Kunk on Earth The Brits have a long tradition of making documentaries that revolve around someone taking long walks. This show skewers that format in both a hilarious and loving way. Follow comedian Diane Morgan in her alter ego Philomena Kunk as she attempts to tell an off-kilter history of the world while stomping around in boots and tweet. If that wasn't enough, you'll never think of Technotronic's anthem, Pump Up the Jam, in the same way again. Number 4. The Crown There's nothing more British than the monarchy, and this series, inspired by real events, follows the royal family as they navigate their roles in changing times and conflicts between each other. The series starts with Queen Elizabeth II, first played by Claire Foy, then Olivia Colman, and now Imelda Staunton, as she falls in love, gets married, and takes on the crown in quick succession. Through the life-changing, and ultimately tragic, marriage and divorce of her son Charles, Dominic West, the Prince of Wales, and Diana, Princess of Wales, Elizabeth Debicki. Number 3. Sex Education This witty teen dramedy is likely light years different from your own high school sex ed class, but that's part of its charm. It follows the students, staff members, and parents of Mordale Secondary, including Asa Butterfield's Otis, an awkward teen who starts an underground sex therapy clinic at school. Using insight he's learned via his mother, Jan, Jillian Anderson, who's a sex therapist herself, to help fellow classmates with their intimacy issues. 
All four seasons are now streaming, so you can see exactly how the series goes out with a bang. Sorry, we had to. Number 2. The Gentleman When Eddie Hornemon, Theo James, inherits the family homestead and the title of Duke of Halstead over his older brother, Frederick, Daniel Ings, he takes over a 15,000-acre estate and a mess. Not only does Freddie have a drug problem, but he also owes millions of pounds to less-than-reputable lenders. And on top of it all, Eddie also discovers that the financial underpinnings of the estate are not what they seem. This series by Guy Ritchie is wry, funny, and of course action-packed, a witty collision course between British aristocrats and gangsters who may have more in common than they think. Number 1. One day, Emma, Ambika Maud, and Dexter, Leo Woodall, meet for the first time on the night of their graduation in 1988. They go their separate ways the next morning, but that's not the end of their story. In fact, it's just the beginning, as that one chance meeting changes both of their lives. One day follows Emma and Dex by showing where they are on that same day, July 15th, for the next 20 years. They grow and change over those two decades, experiencing joy and heartbreak, sometimes together and sometimes apart, but the one constant is they're never far from each other's minds. It's a heart-tugging romance, so make sure you have tissues within reach. Thank you, dear viewers, for joining us on this captivating journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned for more exciting content, behind-the-scenes glimpses, and epic adventures. And remember, in the vast universe of creativity, there are no limits, only infinite possibilities.